One day at the docks, Salty was shunting when Percy came in with his daily goods train. Salty looked over at where Percy had his accident. Hey Percy, isn't that where you had your accident? Ha ha! Shut up, that was 20 years ago. You can never forget memories. Ha ha! Percy put away furiously. The next day, Salty was rusty and Mr. Topham Hat came to see him. Salty, all the other engines are busy, so I'll need you to leave the docks for a couple of days to deliver a train to the quarry. Is that fine with you? Oh yes, please. He was delighted to get out of the docks for a while. That's a good engine. Off you go then. So he got coupled to the train, and he set off. Salty enjoyed traveling the island of Sodor. Later that day, Salty stopped at Tidmouth Sheds. He was going to rest there for the day. Good. I, make it, I can make fun of Percy. That night, Salty with the, went on with this plan. Hey, Percy, remember that accident you had back at the docks? Ha ha. Percy tried to, not to say anything as he could only insult him. Thomas saw this and tried to back up Percy. Salty, the accident happened back in 1987. You weren't even here. Besides, it's 2013. We really need to forget about that. Like I said before, you can never forget memories. Ha ha! Gordon and James heard everything and they started complaining and trying to make him go to sleep. So they went to sleep, but only to shut Gordon and James up. The next morning, Salty was just about to leave when he saw Percy. Hey Percy, don't have an accident today. Ha ha! Then he puts away feeling very proud of himself. After Salty left, Thomas puffed up beside Percy. Don't worry Percy, I'm sure something bad will happen to him soon. Says who? Says Karma, and he puffed away. Hmm, maybe Thomas is right. After a while, Salty came to a five-way switch, and he didn't know which way to go. Which way, driver? Let's try the right track. So they did. But ironically, the right track was the wrong track, and Salty was heading towards trouble. The track that Salty was going on was under repair, and engines were not allowed to go over it. Salty couldn't see the track from a distance, but when he could, it was too late. Salty was on his side. After a while, Thomas and Percy came to help. Hey Salty, looks like you had an accident, ha <laughs> ha! Shut up, you don't even do it right. Well, it serves you right for making fun of Percy this whole time. So Thomas pulled away the freight cars. And Percy took Salty to the works. Listen, I'm sorry about making fun of you all the time. It's okay, this accident was payback enough. Hey, that's a good one. Ha ha! Yeah, I guess it is. Ha ha! Don't worry, I'll teach you how to laugh. 